In this video, I am going to be talking about my first use of my do-it-yourself sonicator, which will be to try to make graphene. Graphene is that wonderful, unique, bizarre, one atom thick material uh, that is very strong, very conductive. It's just a fascinating material, and it can be very helpful in our energy storage devices. The technique that I'm going to be using comes from Robert Murray Smith, where he demonstrated that you could take uh, a mixture of acetone and water. Graphite does not interact with acetone. Graphite does not interact with water. Either of those things is no problem. But strangely enough, if you do a mixture of 75% uh, acetone and 25% water, then the graphite, uh, then that mixture pr produces things that uh, will get between the layers of the graphite. So it goes in between the layers and it helps it when uh, helps you to be able to break it apart into these one atom thick glorious graphene layers. So uh, he said that you could use either a, a blender or a, um, a lab equivalent or a sonicator. And I built my uh, sonicator with this in mind. I have made a modification to the sonicator that you'll see at the end of the video when I show it actually working. Um, and that is, I want to use a, uh, I want to hold in this mixture of acetone and water and the graphite flake powder. What I'm going to be using is these, this bar jar, or uh, one of them like it, uh, a ball jar which is a 32 ounce ball jar. It gets suspended down into the, the water that is in the stainless steel pan. That, uh, because of that, it kind of almost floats in the water, but it tends to, you know, if you do the water high enough and the mixture the right size, it actually does float, but it tends to go canter and it tends to hit the sides. If you don't do enough, then it rests on the bottom and that kills your sonication. I tried putting a sponge between the bottom and that, still killed the sonication. So what you really want is you want it just suspended in the liquid so that it can get into the, through the glass, basically vibrating the glass, gets through the glass and modifies the liquid inside. So inside this, for, for this experiment, is 75% uh, acetone, 25% water, and uh, graphite. Now in this case, uh, for this one I'm doing um, uh, 325 milliliters of acetone, 125 milliliters of water, and uh, 37 and a half grams of fine graphite graphite flake powder. So that that goes in here, seal it up, and then it goes into the thing. Now what I the modification I've done is I've run rubber bands around here on, on all four sides attached to nails. And so then that holds it from there and it, the jar can vibrate just fine. It can transfer the vibrational energy just fine to the mixture inside. And it's so cool because you can actually see the mixing. You can actually see the, the energy being transferred. You can actually see the result on the liquid inside. And um, I just, I hope it comes across well in the video. I will be turning the audio uh, either way down or off in that sec section of the video. Don't know exactly why, but the microphone on the camera really picks up the particular frequency and the particular noise, amplifies it way more than what I hear with, with my ears. I measured it with a decibel meter and the unit is producing about 55 decimals, which is about a normal conversational level. Not a loud thing at all, but the uh, microphone and the camera made it sound like it was extremely loud. It isn't, and it's not a thing to worry. One other thing that I've noticed is that over the first half hour, the liquid, the water, the, because this is, this is suspended in a bath of water, and that water was starting to get a little bit warmer that concerns me and so um, like I replied in one of the comments to the previous I will be adding a cooling fan to the sonicator. The next 
video should show the results of this because uh, it takes time to verify the results. We'll show the results of this and I should also be able to demonstrate the cooling fan because it's a very easy thing. You just mount it on the outside and uh, drill a hole and let it uh, blast air. You um, either I'm either going to let the air exit out through the bottom because I do have a gap there because of the rubber feet or I'll drill an exit hole so that it can exit nicely. Either one is fine. I think I'm going to try to pick up a 110 volt fan. If not, I'll just use a little computer fan and a wall wart, as we call them, the, a little uh, transformer on a, on a wire that would provide the 12 volts for the computer fan. But I'd rather just use an AC fan and hook right into the wiring that's already there nice and easily. So uh, that's what I'll do. And the next shots will be the sonicator actually running, uh, sonicating the mixture. And then the next video will be the uh, results and the modification. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy this next part.